We have one little girl, Savannah, Savannah. <laughs> that has stolen all of our hearts. We all wanted to bring her back to Salt Lake with us. I wish you all would have had the same opportunity that we had to reach out and touch these children in such a loving way and to feel genuine love back. This was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I gave you gifts because I really think you guys are really special to me and I really think that so I got you guys a gift so you can remember me. Dear people from Salt Lake City, thank you for school supplies that you gave me and my daughter. You actually saved my life. Also, thank you for the food. May you guys have a safe trip home and God bless you all. One thing nice meeting you all. You guys such a nice people. Sign myself and daughter, Christina and Deidre. Some people hold on to the religion of their mother and their father. But in order to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, it is true, it is true that we must all give up something. Vacation Bible School was good, and I enjoyed the teaching and the way it's taught. And uh, the, the worship service, I really enjoyed it. It's so it, hard to explain from the Bible. Of it's our different. Heart. We don't have that kind of worship service. We don't have that, that kind of little Sunday school like that. So it's been great. We just want to say thank you for remembering us in prayer, and thank you for remembering us the Navajo people down here and everybody thank you for each one of you that has thought about us from the bottom of our heart, your hearts I just thank you that you have given the words to even the Lily's kid it really blessed my heart and I miss that to make a trip like this and just to see things outside of your comfort zone is amazing Everybody should try at least one trip. Whatever thought that you would have about mission, if you get out and do the work, you serve, it's more rewarding than you can imagine. If you have the opportunity, if you want a blessing, then you really, you really must plan on the outreach missions. It's a wonderful experience, both in sharing the gospel with others and lifting yourself. You you will enjoy it. You come trying to bless people and help people. You end up just because of their love and their joy being many times more blessed yourself. Remember the Bible says that the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. And um, I've trusted this recap of uh, how God has blessed us and used us to bless others. Um, will pierce your heart and will will, will, will move you to action uh, to say, I'm going to go on the next mission. I'm going to support um, the missions here uh, at New Pilgrim Baptist Church. Uh, uh, your life will never be the same. All of us who have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ have a responsibility and a privilege to go into all the world and preach the gospel. So I want to ask you, I want to compel you admonish you even 
um, to, to do a mission, pick one of the missions that we're doing and, and make a commitment, make a financial commitment uh, to be a part of our mission team on the next mission. God bless you.